As you've grown accustomed to my presentations over my 34 years in South Florida newscasts, confidently, I went on TV and I told you, it's going to turn. You don't need to worry. It is going to turn. And I am here to tell you that I am not sure I can do that this year because of the gut cuts, the gutting, the sledgehammer attack on science in general, and, and I could talk about that for a long, long time, and how that is affecting the U.S. Uh, leadership in science over many years, and how we're losing that leadership, and this is a multi-generational impact on science in this country, all right? But specifically, let's talk about the federal government cuts to the National Weather Service and to NOAA. Did you know? that Central and South Florida National Weather Service offices are currently basically 20 to 40% under, understaffed. From Tampa to Key West, including the Miami office, 20 to 40% understaffed. Now, this type of uh, staffing shortage is having impacts across the nation because there's been a nearly 20% reduction in weather balloon releases, launches, that carry those radio sons. And what we're starting to see is that the quality of the forecasts is becoming degraded.